guys, welcome back to the vlog. I've been up for a while. I was getting my vlog live today. I was a good one. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. I started painting in my, I mean, basically made like a garden art painting book, journal, if you will. Um, I've been experimenting with gouache paint, which I've never used before. And I just like, I'm doing it just for me, just for a journal, it's a way to wind down. I'm very much a type of person that like, my mind's always going. <laughs> That's why I do so many projects. I always want to have something to do. I was never bored as a kid. You know what I mean? Like I always had something happening. More recently in the last couple of years, I've really thrown myself into projects that were like larger than life that really took a toll on my body. That were really, you know, like just like tested me physically. And I want to start introducing more projects that don't kill me physically, that just, keeps my hands busy where I can sit down and have my, you know, creative kind of session and get my creative juices flowing with, you know, without killing myself. Truly. It's that's that's where I'm at. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Um Kinsley and I sat outside and we painted. It was wonderful. It's like a fairy tale, truly. Today, I was getting ready. I didn't quite finish my makeup because I realized I ordered some things from Sephora cuz I had a gift card and they came and I was like, oh, I wanna try um, a new blush blush color that I got because I have been loving this Dew Blush from Say. I got some other stuff too. Oh. <laughs> Wait, we're opening it. Okay, I got this, we will try another day. Not that contour scares me, just like, I usually just use bronzer to contour. I've never actually used like a wand or a stick. So I got the Charlotte Tilbury uh, contour wand in the lighter obviously the lighter shade, fair medium. This is sold out in stores everywhere. And the um, powder, this this is the Gucci powder. The powder that I have here is too light for me in the summer. My body is starting to tan, but I never tan my face, ever. I put the highest level of sunscreen on my face at all times, but it's it's getting lighter than my, my, my skin a little bit. So it's always sold out in store. Um, I use number five, if anyone wants to know. Um, I love it. It's, it's so pretty and it's also like the shade that I need, but look at this. Just beautiful. So it's a little, you can tell, like it's, I'm too pale now. I'll leave this stuff linked for you too. And this one, that's pretty much all I got. This one is the one I wanted to try. This is the Say Dew Blush. It's a liquid cheek flush in rosy. Okay, so I have peachy. And I wanted to try a different color because mine's actually um, starting to run out. <gasps> Let's try, I need, oh, it's, a, it's a liquid blush. So it's kind of cool how it goes on. I like the consistency a lot. Pretty color. It's actually a little warmer than I thought it was going to be. I use my beauty blender, I have it wet already. And I put three splots. Oh no, I love this color. It's not as peachy as the, the other. And I blend it out over my nose with my beauty blender. Oh, it, hello, it's, no, she loves beauty blenders. Wait, let me blend it. No, you can't have it. It's, Kinsley, back up off me. Back up, good girl. <laughs> She's like, mom, you have a beauty blender. I love them. I just like to wear a lot of blush in the, in the summertime. I think it's like really, it makes me look like alive and like happy. I love this, I'll leave it leaked. In case you wanna try it. They have like, like six or seven different colors that are really, really pretty. Much better. Now it'll set everything in. Okay, so I was getting ready today and I have a problem. I'm currently in a sweater. I thrive in fall, wardrobe wise, truly. In spring and summer, I, I thrive in dresses, but I don't wanna wear a dress all the time. <laughs> like, you know, like sometimes I just want something to wear that I can move and not like care, you know, that I'm in a dress. So I, I don't have any clothes. I really just don't buy a lot of clothes. Romeo thrifts like sweaters and things for me great in winter. And I have, I just, I love, a, I just love a good sweater, but that's not gonna work for us. It is very warm now, 87 degrees. It's hot and it is sunny and sunny and sunny. And this week it is getting up into the low nineties. We have a problem. Well, I have no clothes. I know, I was telling them. But where I lack in clothing, 
I do not lack in pretty jewelry. Arate just sent me some stuff. I couldn't wait. I had to open it right away. Arate is my favorite jewelry brand by far, not only for their jewelry and the quality, but also the company as a, a whole. Uh, I just, I love everything that they're doing. I love everything. I love everything. <laughs> um, so they sent me some jewelry. I can't wait. It's actually from their new quilted collection. And I think there are a few pearl options in here too. I love them. These are orate. I love these are my favorite earrings from them so far. They're probably gonna send me something I love right now that I'm gonna have a new favorite. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at their hinge bracelet. So this is the quilted collection. Took me a minute to figure out how to open it. But then once I was like, oh yeah, duh, McKenna. Look how pretty. Like to wear like stacked or as a statement, this is their um, this is their bracelet too. This I got this one. This one's my friendship bracelet with my mom. So Arate is having their biggest summer Black Friday sale ever. <laughs> you know when Black Friday comes around, it's like the first time you're thinking about buying holiday gifts for the holidays for other people. So Black Friday is about like buying gifts for other people. So they're like, no, let's have a summer Black Friday sale where we gift ourselves. Why not? Because why not? Yo, know, I just, I love it. They're just so cute. Are these earrings? I swear, they're gonna make me love them, I swear. Oh, the quilted earrings, look. I love, so these are a solid hoop through. Um, mine right now just have like a hole in the back. Um, I actually love the, these have been my favorite. I actually love this style of earring because it makes it easier to sleep with. I still sleep with these, um, but you know, if anything that has a post is a little bit harder to sleep with. Orate is made with real gold, real gemstones, real diamonds. All of the materials that they use are sustainably sourced and they're very fairly priced. So they came out with a collection of a fresh take on the classic pearl. So simple and classic. I love a classic earring. I think this every time I open their packages that I love their color green, like their brand color. <laughs> I don't lie, it's just really pretty. And I like these little pouches because you can travel with them. Oh my gosh, look, this whole thing is a claw closure, like a clasp. So you open it here. <gasps> I was like, wait, how do I attach it? That's so pretty. Such a, like a statement closure. I love, and they sent one for my mom. She, mom, this is for you. I'll bring it with me. I just love all their pieces. I also have rings that I wear all the time from them. Um, I wear them all the time, I, I never take them off. So if you're looking for something amazing for yourself this summer, you can get 35% off your order with no minimum spend. Click the link, which is the easiest, or when you go to their website, oratenewyork.com, you can use code McKenna35 if you're already shopping on their website. You know, you can use the code. Orate's prices is already amazing, so this is definitely uh, a really, really good deal. So definitely check them out. I'm gonna wear these today and my new stack. I'm gonna wear all of these today. We are gonna go find something for me to wear. When I'm like desperate to find something to wear, I never find anything. So that's kind of disappointing, but you know, you never know. We're gonna check it out. Some errands that I also need to run because I'm starting those projects. And I wanted to show you guys actually where I'm gonna be putting the curio cabinet. Um, I'm gonna be starting sanding and like starting the process tomorrow. That's all I'm gonna do tomorrow. And I want it to go right here. I think it's gonna be perfect. I mean, it's a blank wall. It's tucked out of the way. I may have to move this mirror a little bit. I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll see. The mirror doesn't have to stay there, but we'll, maybe I can turn it the other way and put it up top or something. We can design this area a little better and have it right there. That's why I want kind of some cohesion in the colors of the wood. So I want it to match. I want to kind of do this look, like create this look, because this is just so pretty that I want that like ashy, ashy warm. We already have the same wood tones in here because we have the beams that are already exposed in here. We've got some warmth happening. These won't stay, obviously. We are not gonna invest in a dining table until we like renovate. So never eat at a dining table <laughs> either. So it's like not, not, there's no point, truly. I still need to put that stuff away too. So maybe we'll do that later when we get back. But first, I, I, we gotta go. We gotta go find some things. Wait, another package from them just arrived because I've been telling a rate how much I love these vintage style rings. I just put this one. On. Look at this. How did they know I love this little color blue? I love the two stone together. Look at these. 
like that is stuff i've been telling them how obsessed i am with them so they're like they're making one in a white and a yellow tourmaline because you can pick which stone and what color you want in each stone on their website and then they come in these two sizes <sighs> they're gonna let me wear it today while they're making mine <laughs> that's very exciting for me so we stopped by mendocino to eat and i'm looking on i'm searching on tiktok for summer outfit 2023 ideas and everything that I like is like a cute top with like linen trouser pants. That feels like very me, like a cute, like, like I need more like tees. And I want like, like maybe like body, body too. I might need to go to Aritzia. Feeling like this is an Aritzia moment. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, see? Like I need, all, I need to wear all of this stuff. <gasps> cute, very cute. Oh, not that. I like that. Like this one, right? Yep. That's cute. Oh, that, 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 that. I need that. This is what we're going to look for. I've been in here five seconds and I've already found a cute thing. I helped. Romeo, I love when he shops with me because he's so good. Like this, like linen, like light. Mm -hmm. So I have all of these like basics items. Like I just need like basic tees because my last Florence shirt has a stain on it. I was so sad. And then like, these are not mine or are they definitely not some button downs a really good pair of denim that i can just wear through the summer and some linen pieces and then a few more here i love this top look how cute to anthropology and i love their dresses but i never really look at anything else i don't like things that are too boho but this is really cute i love the neckline this is really cute and they've already started to put out their fall candles so it smells so good and we're getting this one ghosted gimlet it smells so good tanks yeah like that's kind of what these are but yeah yeah i like the high neck on that yeah i like these too Look, they have white, they have... The yellow! <laughs> I'm obsessed. guys it's the next day Kinsley and I have been working on stuff all day I was actually really grudgy so I just took a shower like got ready because sometimes I just start my DIY projects you know like I wake up and I'm like okay let's get materials ready let's pull some things out let's wrap my head around it and before I knew it it was like getting to be like you know like later in the afternoon and I hadn't even showered so I did that I just put on comfy clothes because I have something oh what do you see no, that's not for you. We shopped at the mall last night um, until it closed, actually. We, we were in Madewell when they were like, oh, we're gonna close in 10 minutes. So I got some things. I think I showed you guys some of the outfits that I tried on and everything else was just basics. I wanna show you one basic from Madewell that was so soft, I bought it in three colors. Because I feel like I shop like that. I like to buy things and invest in like quality basics, I guess you could say, um, that I can wear with lots of things and I can wear lots of times because that's why I don't have like a huge assortment of clothing because I just like to have like kind of like a capsule wardrobe where I can just like mix and match. And then I realized why I don't have any clothes here is because all of my summer, like my, my hot clothes, my hot clothes are in Texas <laughs> because it's usually a lot warmer there and I've been there for so many years that I have them all there. So I need to assess my clothes when I go back. I did get some like really great basics that I can wear over and over again. And I tried this, this shirt on in the yellow color and I immediately went back to the rack and got black and white because they're just, they were so soft. They're like tanks, but I always gravitate towards something with a high neck. I love that. I love like that. And it's just like, they're super comfortable. So I can wear them underneath 
some of the button downs that I got that you guys saw. Um, I got two button downs from Aritzia actually. And I just feel like I can wear these pieces all the time, which is really, really good. So you will got, you guys will be seeing me in out, better outfits than sweater soon. I'm back in a sweater. I also got this set of scrunchies with little pearls on them. They came in three colors and I thought they were so pretty. I got them from Anthropology because Anthropology already put their fall candles out. It blew my mind. Granted, they did say that, yes, they did put them out early just because they had them in back stock and customers kept asking. So it technically wasn't time yet for them to put them out but it blew my mind I, I was like oh my god it's like actually almost fall and it's actually almost christmas but it got me thinking about like we're very much in still in summer i showed you guys some of my new makeup that i got for summer but i wanted to show you two other things that i was using this say what is this called glowy super gel this comes in two colors i have both um but the bronzier one i use for summertime and it's basically like a primer for your makeup in a sense underneath um, and it gives you a really great dewy base so i use this a lot i really really like it i'm actually you can kind of see that it's kind of squeezed out <laughs> i'm almost done with it and i have been doing if you can tell underneath underneath my eyes i do this like pinky eyeliner and i've been using this palette i've actually had this palette for a long time i don't think that they sell it anymore because obviously i don't use these colors every day but i've been using the pinks and the blues like underneath to kind of like highlight my eyes for summer just fun getting back to doing like honestly some of the more girly things that i used to do that used to just make me happy before I was constantly in renovation clothes. You know, just kind of like getting re -intense. Like I got my nails done for my birthday, just gel, like thin French tip. But those little things just help me feel more put together. You know, I was feeling a little disheveled for quite a long time, like two years. So, and of course my jewelry I showed you, but it got me thinking about the other things that I'm loving for summer. I've had fun with color in home decor recently. So every spring and summer, I like to bring in a lighter, more like um, softer, more spring type color into our decor. Normally I do that in candles. I really love to do that in candles and pillows, things that aren't permanent, you know, to like just refresh our space, refresh like the, especially like the main living areas, the living rooms. This year of living rooms, I hate that. <laughs> it feels so redundant. It's like, why do you have, we have two living rooms? Doesn't make sense. If you've been following the vlogs for a couple of weeks now, you know that I've become obsessed with this cornflower blue color. I just like can't get enough because I feel like it's the perfect tone of blue, like a dusty blue to add into my moody kind of colors, making the space feel more bright. I'm gonna light these so that you can see. We have very moody lighting here in the afternoon in this room, but look at these candles. Like, I feel like it gives the perfect kind of soft touch um, that's not really jarring for the room, but makes it feel more fresh, makes it feel more like, you know, kind of like summery. I'm also just obsessed with this color in general, but in past years, I've actually opted for just like a lighter green to bring that in, which is more earthy. This is everything. <laughs> like, I'm so in love with this. I picked these up from Crate and Barrel, actually. I will link some of my favorites because I've seen some other ones. I just happened to be at Crate and Barrel looking for pillows. Uh, so I saw them hanging. I was like, oh, this is such a pretty color. And it spawned my cornflower blue obsession. Also, another great way to bring that color in is in pillows. And I also have a vase that I've got that in, but I found these at the estate sale not too long ago and they have that same color blue, but little flowers. Pillows are like a great way to swap out to make your space feel like any season. I have Christmas pillows that we put out, obviously. Um, I have these now for summer. I have some like warmer, like um, more textured, cozy vibe to them that are great for fall. So I just got these for less than $5 a piece. I I think they ended up being like 350 a piece at an estate sale. And I just got this vase. I love it. But vases are also a really good way to kind of like add that color into your house. Um, so whatever color you pick, it just doesn't have to be one color, but like outside I've picked yellow as like the pop in our like pool area because I kind of like to go with like a, a color theory or like, you know, color palette since we have all of the red brick and we have the blue pool. I used primary colors as kind of like my jumping off point. So the other primary color is yellow. So I picked yellow for our pool accessories, like our 
our towels are all yellow stripe and then we have yellow stripe pool like donuts for out there which are really cute also today i got back on track with taking my shot in the morning my ginger shot and also my smoothie for breakfast it has my like all my greens like my ag1 berries and my protein and stuff every morning because i was gonna i, I hadn't done it in a couple of weeks and i was starting to feel it and i was like oh I, my insides don't feel like i want them to feel you know so i got Back on track, um, yeah, just eating better. I actually meal prepped today too. So I made like my spinach, apple, chicken, and broccoli salads for lunch and I meal prepped. I had one for lunch and I meal prepped two more. So for the next two days I have lunch so that I can work on my DIY project for the Sunday. I hope you guys are having a great summer. I have one more thing I wanna show you guys is like one of my favorites for summer. You guys know I've been reading a lot, um, but I, I, I say reading a lot. I've read more than I ever have in my entire life because honestly, I used to not read at all, like at all. If I would only read if it was like educational, if I was reading a marketing book or something for school or something for business, you know, like I would read a lot of and digest a lot of that information, but I would never read for just like pleasure or like for fun. And just, I've really taken up reading the last year and for summer, I'm loving this. I've now finished book one because I only read at night, so I don't get through them very quickly. Um, so I started this one this month. I've been reading it for like two or three weeks or so, and I'll read like a couple of chapters at night. This is like in the teen section, like the inheritance games. I think there's definitely three, and I want to say they're coming out with a fourth book. And I love this book. If you like mysteries and kind of like riddles, trying to like figure things out, like it, it's, it started slow for me, um, like, you know, like anything, you just kind of have to get into it. But then I got hooked. Like I had to know why this chick <laughs> inherited all this money. <laughs> like how? It's like right when I thought they were figuring out how it would change. And it was, just, it's just very interesting. If you just like something like super like interesting to read and you kind of keeps you on the edge of your seat, like towards the end, I couldn't put it down. Like. I had to know why and now i've read at the end at the end of the book they put like three chapters in the next in the sequel in the next book um i'm hooked and i really do like it because after reading the first three chapters some books that i was reading before would have three in the series but, but it would pick different characters and kind of elaborate on their stories and sometimes i really liked those characters so i wanted to read their story but sometimes i wouldn't so i was like oh i don't care to re read their like their side of like whatever happened uh, but this is just a continuation so that makes me happy. I haven't read very many books this this year that are like this. Um, so I'm really, really excited. Now that I've read the physical book, I can jump over to my Kindle and download um, the next one. I'm very excited about this. So Kinsley and I are on our own today and tonight because Romeo has a basketball game um, pretty far away. So he's going to be venturing down there on his own this time. Uh, we have some work to do. We have some computer work to do um, just to play catch up so that I can just focus on my DIY projects for the next few days. And that's going to be making me really excited. My brain and my body like really needed this last break. So I'm really excited to like dive into some more projects and, and dive back into filming, like especially like my videos for my main channel. We aren't going to be tackling any like large room makeovers um, this summer at least um but there are a few things that i do want to do i do want to paint the kitchen cabinets but i also want to do something outside which isn't like a major makeover it's not like crazy i also would really love to build bookshelves in here in in this room um but that'll be like third on the list so outside kitchen cabinets and bookshelves next and then we'll probably dive into like another kind of room makeover because we'll be getting probably more into fall. I also have some fun um, vlog content uh, coming up, some ideas that I wanna do. Kinsley, are you gonna say bye to everybody? Oh my gosh, your bat dog. Dun -dun 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 bat dog. Dun -dun 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 bat dog. Dun -dun 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 bat dog. <laughs> bye guys. <laughs>